a small disagreement, it seems, between KC and its stud left tackle and offensive lineman, Orlando Brown Jr., who came over to KC just this past offseason from the Baltimore Ravens. He was a big factor in keeping Patrick Mahomes upright, and he wants more money that rightfully, I believe, should be guaranteed to him. And there's a small disagreement here, at least the two sides not coming together before the deadline. We'll see what happens with Orlando Brown by the time we get to training camp for KC and the rest of this season. But again, Donnie, it's the idea of keeping the very impactful people on your team happy. That's something you cert certainly should do with your blind side blocker in Orlando Brown Jr. No, certainly in continuity, right? The offensive line, you want continuity all the way through because granted, from an agent's perspective here, even though it's probably been in the best interest of your client to go to training camp, and also we've seen it in the past where a guy comes in and says, hey, look, I'm not happy about my contract. It's not Andy Reid's issue here. Like Andy Reid is not the one signing the checks here. He probably wants to give him all the money he can, but from that front office GM ownership perspective, they hold the keys. So you come to that agreement for camp, say, hey, look, come into camp here, be in the training room, be in the facility with us, be in the meetings here. And if you want to get out there in some helmets and shoulder pads here just to get some reps, so yep. be it. But we really won't press that until the final week of the preseason or right before we're going to start. Because the last thing you want, again, is these guys showing up, you know, three and four weeks late, already behind the curve. Uh, granted, they probably already know the offense and they're in decent shape, but nothing beats being in camp around your players here, forming that continuity, and hopefully the Chiefs get that out of the star left tackle. It seemed that these two sides, Orlando Brown Jr.'s camp and the Chiefs front office, were pretty far apart. So this was almost an expectation. And it still seems like Orlando Brown Jr. will play this year for Kansas City. But how impactful will this be for a Chiefs offense that is going to look at least a little bit different from how it did the last couple of seasons, of course, because Tyreek Hill is no longer a member of KC now playing for the Miami Dolphins and some other key departures defensively. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, the real orchestrator of Steve Spagnuolo's defense on that other side. Charvarius Ward now plays in San Francisco as well. But the Chiefs offensively restock with Juju Smith-Schuster, Marquez Valdez-Scantling. They add Sky Moore, the wide receiver out of Western Michigan in the draft as well. Justin Reed on the other side of the football in that safety core. So, DRS, let's focus on Tyreek Hill here. How big of an absence do you think that will be for KC's offense in 2022? I do think it's going to be a big deal here. Now, Kevin and I talked about it. We went over some, you know, props getting ready for the 2022 NFL football season. And one of them was Travis Kelsey and what that means for him. Yep. It's a two-pronged attack here that you could try to go after it. Well, probably more, you know, targets going this direction because Tyreek Hill is not out there. But I was on the opposite right. side, taking the unders on Travis Kelsey. Not because I don't think he's a great football player, but boy, when you have Tyreek Hill that takes the top off of your defense, which means you have safety coverage rolling his way and you're left out there, Ben, with, let's just say, one-on-one -on -one coverage against a linebacker, Kelsey's going to eat you up all day but now that you don't have that guy to take the top off like Tyree Kill did yep. maybe you have some extra safety help maybe you have bracket coverage now over the middle I think it's going to be a little bit harder for Kelsey to get wide open because how many times we see it Ben third and eight last year Kelsey's wide open ever why is that because everybody's worried about Tyree Kill scoring a 75 yard touchdown over the top I think it matters here in this offense it'll be interesting to see how it plays out right away